So for the past couple of months, we've been obviously through a difficult time. And this week was no different. A challenging week in which the world has been reacting to the killing, to the death of George Floyd in America. And the question really is, how do we react when difficult things happen, when challenges happen, when things go wrong, when we make mistakes, how is it that we react? And there's a fascinating discrepancy in Parashat Nasa this week as to how people react when they make mistakes and when they do things wrong. And it's noted by Reb Zalman Sarotskin as follows. So the Torah tells us that when a person makes an error and they want to bring a sacrifice, v'hit vadu et chatata, they confess their sins. And it's written in the plural. V'hit vadu, many people, all of the people who have done wrong will come forth and confess their sins and admit what they've done wrong and recognize that there has been a mistake. And then suddenly the Torah switches. Asher asu, that they have done, v'heshiv et ashamo. And at that point, they will make reparations, they will fix the problem. But it doesn't say they. It says he or she. V'heshiv et ashamo in the singular. Why does it switch from the plural to the singular? Says Reb Zalman Saratskin, many people admit that they have made a mistake. Many people recognize that something has gone wrong, but very few actually go and do something about it. There is a great number, a plurality of people who will recognize the problem, but only a select few written in the singular who will actually go and solve and resolve those problems. Now, this issue is not a new one. It goes right back to the very first human being who failed to take responsibility for his own actions. We know that Adam made the mistake of eating from the tree. And when he was confronted with that mistake, when the Almighty came to him, he had two choices. The choice to own up, the choice to begin that path of teshuvah, of repentance, of sorting out the problem by looking inside himself and figuring out what he could change. But he chose the other option. The option to look elsewhere, to look outside and to blame someone else. And that is unfortunately still a challenge that we go through today. And so what the Torah is teaching us that true leadership is about taking responsibility. It's about not just recognizing the problem, not just seeing that something has gone wrong, but actually going ahead and doing something about it. Looking inside of ourselves and thinking, what is it that I can change? Not what he can change or she can change or they can change, but what is it that I myself can do differently as a result of this challenge, of this crisis, or of this tragedy? And if you think you're not a leader, well, leadership starts not with leading other people, but with leading ourselves and taking control of who we are. Shabbat Shalom.